Today, we are going to put Apple's butterfly keyboard replacement program to the test. So, much like a lot of people, my 2015 MacBook, which is the first MacBook to feature this butterfly keyboard mechanism, is having a lot of issues, shall we say. Many of the keys, like the spacebar, the right shift key, the tab key, and a lot of the keys in the center of the board are completely stuck down and not moving anywhere. Now, I do have a video that I made a couple of days ago with a sort of home remedy for how to clean out some of the keys and relieve some of this stickiness, but seeing as Apple has this new replacement program, I figured, why don't we try to test it out? So what I'm going to do is go to the Apple store and get my keyboard replaced and we're going to find out how good this replacement program is. Okay, so we are on our way to the Apple store, which is right over there. And I'm curious about two things with this repair process. So the first is I want to know whether they are going to replace individual keys or the entire keyboard assembly in the top case and all that stuff. And the second thing that I want to know is if they're going to replace it with a different type of keyboard, either the second generation butterfly keyboard or just some new revised one that works. I personally don't think that will be the case. I think they're just going to put another faulty keyboard in it, but that's what we're here to find out. So I will be back in just a second. So that was a relatively painless procedure. I just went in, showed that the keys weren't working, and then he said, yep, so we have this new replacement program. I'm like, huh, yeah, I know about that. And so then, you know, he just ran the diagnostics, everything was fine, and the computer is sent off. It only took me about 10 minutes, so that part I can attest to as being very effective. However, the genius did say a couple of things that I find a little bit sketchy and are certainly worth dissecting. So I took some notes of what he said, and when we get back in the studio, I'll give you guys an update. Okay, so I just got back from the Apple store and I'm pretty sure the genius lied to me. So let me explain how my visit went. Uh, first, I arrived and I checked in as you normally do, and when I got to the genius bar, he asked what the problem was with my MacBook, and I pointed him to the keyboard and its numerous unresponsive keys. So he saw that the keys were unresponsive, and he said, okay, yes, we're just gonna check the serial number, and we have this program, this replacement program, that will get the keyboard replaced for you for free. So then we went through, you know, doing the diagnostics, checking the machine to make sure that everything was working, and then I asked him a little bit of some details about what this program will entail. So the first thing that he told me that is actually quite interesting is they're not replacing individual keys. On my computer, he said that they're going to replace the entire top case. So I'm getting a new top case, keyboard assembly, and battery for my MacBook. But it's what he said next that really had me wondering. And I wrote this down on my phone because I didn't want to be recording in the Apple store in case someone saw me and I didn't want to do all that. So I wrote down as he was talking a pretty close paraphrase of what he was telling me. So he started talking about how this problem has been in the media recently, and he said the following. It can be frustrating from the outside when we all know that this issue is present, the issue being the keyboard unresponsiveness. But internally, we can't launch a repair program until we engineer a part that is repaired. Our technicians have to make sure that we replace this component with something that won't have this problem. So that's a very bold claim and one that I'm pretty sure is patently untrue because Apple has had numerous replacement programs in the past. So for MacBooks alone, let's just name a few. The 2008 graphics card problem, the 2011 graphics card problem, the 2012 and 13 graphics card problem, and the retina screen delamination. All of these are issues that Apple acknowledged and repaired with parts that had the same problem. So I wanted to get a little bit further. So I said, so is there going to be a revised keyboard? I asked if the keyboard that I received is somehow different from the keyboards that are currently sold in MacBooks, the ones that have these problems. And his answer was, 
Well, there's nothing that I can show you here, but I know some engineers and that's how it works internally whenever we launch one of these programs. And that really had me go, I really, really, really wanted to point out all of those other programs that I mentioned, the delamination, the multiple graphics card issues. But I just, I didn't want to make him too mad and he's about to give me $600 worth of free repairs. So I'm, I'm just going to take it. But now that we're here and I have this platform to talk about it, I am a little bit skeeved out by that. That really does bother me because he, he says that he knows some engineers, which is, I don't know, it's probably true. He seemed like a guy who knows what he's doing, but it seems very deceptive to be telling me, just telling me out front that they can't launch a replacement until they have a revised part, when historically that is not the case. So that was my story at the Genius Bar, and quite frankly, I'm... Well, first of all, I'm pleased about how easy it was to get the replacement done. That was flawless. But I am a bit bothered by the genius's response when I asked him about this repair. I really do think he's making promises that they just can't keep. And I, I am extremely doubtful that there is anything new about the keyboard that they're going to put on my machine. But the only thing that I can do now is wait for my machine to come back, so... Yay. Okay, so I just got back with the newly repaired MacBook, so let's take a look at the Apple repair little piece of paper that they gave me so we can see what they did to it. So, the, the replacement was for the top case with keyboard, and the symptom is noted as sticky keys. So that's interesting to me because on the website where Apple has the service program detailed, it says that for sticky keys they will replace key caps instead of replacing the whole keyboard. But on my model, which only had the sticky keys, there was no repeating or missing characters. Uh, they did in fact replace the entire top case with keyboard. Now I did have a couple of keys that were sticking. I think it was about five or so that were pretty bad and most of them were a little bit bad. So it might have been something to do with the fact that I had a bunch of keys. Um, maybe if you don't have a lot of keys they won't replace everything. But the other experience that I have with this situation is uh, my friend Noah from Pogo Coding and More had a spacebar that was sticking and they replaced his entire top case with the battery assembly, the keyboard, all of it because of that sticking spacebar. So I don't know if they're still doing that. That was about six months ago in December. So it might have changed since then. But as far as I know, it seems like they're more likely to replace the entire top case assembly than just do a keycap replacement. So the next major question is, is this keyboard any different? And I can pretty much guarantee you that it's not. I've just, you know, I typed a little bit on it um, before I started filming, and it feels exactly the same as the old keyboard did before it got all sticky. So this is, it's literally exactly the same. And one of the reasons I can tell that it's exactly the same is all of Apple's new butterfly keyboards have the control and alt symbols on those two keys, and this still has the normal version, so... I mean, I really don't think that this keyboard is any different, and I can almost guarantee you that this is going to have the exact same problem again. I mean, the keyboard, it, it is literally the exact same feel as the other keyboard before it got all junked up, so I don't know who they're trying to fool by saying that this keyboard is somehow different. It is not. I can, I can verify to you, I did the replacement program. This is a brand new keyboard. You can tell by how clean and fresh all the keycaps are. It is brand new. It is no different. I am happy that Apple was willing to just replace the whole top case because of course now I have a, a nice new fresh shiny top case which looks really good. But they didn't do anything to solve the problem. They've just given me a cleaner, newer version of the exact same keyboard that I had before. And I'm really disappointed that they lied to me and told me that this was different. So I'm glad that they have at least addressed the problem. Getting a replacement keyboard, this time maybe I'll be more careful and clean around it, I guess. 
it's just, I feel like I've been let down as a customer. Because, now I didn't buy this new, but I do have two MacBooks with these butterfly keyboards. And that's damn near $4,000 worth of computer technology. And to be in a position where the keyboard is just going to fail over and over. My primary means of interacting with the device for its intended function through the keyboard is prone to failure at any time due to just a little bit of dust. That to me is not okay. And the fact that Apple waited so long to have this replacement program and then didn't solve the problem is very irritating. It doesn't help that the genius actually told me false information. He told me that the keyboard was fixed, that this isn't going to have the same problem again. Okay, so that was a little bit rambly. I apologize if that was long-winded and repetitive, but I am a little fired up because, you know, this computer is one of the oldest butterfly keyboards. This was made in the early half of 2015, which means I only really have about 10 months before I can no longer get the keyboard replaced. And I can guarantee you that it will continue to fail after that period of time. It's a lot like the 2011 MacBook Pros. It was fine that you could get endless new logic boards put in them as they kept failing, but eventually it's going to go out of warranty and it's still going to fail. So we really haven't made any progress. So I don't know if this is a particularly groundbreaking video. I'm not sure if anyone's particularly surprised by the results of this. But feel free to share this. In fact, share this with Lewis Rossman. I, I would like to see what his thoughts are on this, if he ever comes across this video. But with that, I would like to thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure to follow me on Twitter, at Luke Miani. Don't forget to join my subreddit. Like, comment, subscribe, blah, 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 you know the drill. And with that, I will see you guys in the next video.